why don't I get a little checkbox on that of don't ask me again? Like, it only gives you the option of taking it over completely or just this once. Like, don't ask me. If I want to change one thing on my training, I'm literally the guy running the team. Stop it. Well, I probably couldn't have told you that just now. I mean, I know Wales is its own country, but could I have told you that Wrexham was in Wales? No. Max Dean is out. Oh, he's injured just for a day. That's okay. Put Bush in the gaming videos. I don't know. I've been watching a lot of uh, it's Obama and Biden and Trump playing uh, Mario Kart. And then I watched them play Wii Sports, which has been pretty funny. I'm disappointed to report that left back Talaji Bola has sustained a gashed arm following a robust challenge during training. I don't even think we got a game for eight days. Yeah, so I'll just send him to the doctor. Do, 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 do. Cayman come in here and now he's playing Valheim. I think he's addicted to that game. That's what I'm hoping happens in America is we really need to, uh, we need promotion and relegation to build smaller teams around here. Here's an Ashby has been showing remarkable improvements over the last couple of months. He doesn't like big matches though, that's the problem. Yeah, League One right back. So finding a replacement for him is probably, probably on the agenda. We need a left back. We need a right back. I still think we need to find a solid right winger. That's probably the next three things I need to find for our team. Um, Frankie Terry, who are you? He's at Colchester. He's asking. He wants to move to a bigger club. Well, first, let me compare him to Talaji Bola. The city I live in in America just got like a sporting club that's actually, they're trying to get funding to build a stadium and everything. Um, so I'm going to try to go check out their games. And then the only other ones I can afford uh, is Louisville FC, which is an hour or so away. I want to go to some of their games this season. And then the only major league soccer team is up in Cincinnati, but their tickets are outrageous. I can't, I cannot really afford those. Uh, if you had to put three presidents in different areas in Ace, I don't, I've not played Ace Attorney, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, well, they're grassroots right now because they're renting off of the local college. Wow, this guy's really good. Uh, 
Frankie Terry. I think I'm going to put him on my little list of players to watch. I'm really enjoying this find a replacement for. I feel like I'm finding more players from it than I am on anything else. I don't know if I still like the re recruiting on this version of the game. I feel like they simplified it a little too much. And in simplifying it, it's made it a lot more hard to find anything. Like the American judicial, there's an attorney, defendant. Well, I mean, a lot of American presidents were already lawyers. Um, I mean, I would probably make Obama to judge because he would be funny to listen to. He'd be like, let me be clear. That is, your abstain is okay. Uh, Trump would obviously be the prosecuting attorney. He'd be like, this, this charge is huge, huge. And then Biden, uh, I, I don't know what he would be. He would be the bailiff. <laughs> I support, I'm going to guess that's sports. Yank sports like NFL, NHL, and NBA. Um, the bailiff and judge are not the same thing. All right, we got mid-table teams coming up. Monthly staff meeting. What do we got here? Still weakness in his game. He needs better. Stop attempting through balls. What? I think this is backwards. It's it's saying Oko Flex wants a new contract, but it's not him yet. There's Ashby. Yeah, Bellingham's great, but we just sold him for $2 million. Hey, very good head coach support, so that's one up. The atmosphere is still just good, though. I already yelled at him. I can't yell at him again. Buffalo Bills. That's not a bad team. I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan when it comes to NFL. NHL, I don't. Hockey, we don't. Hockey doesn't come on TV enough for me to really watch it to support a team. Why is it a promise for me to watch him over the next month? Oh, I, I couldn't support New York teams. They have way too much money. Max Dean got injured again. This is like three days. Is he injury prone? No, but he just... I was really wanting to utilize him a little bit, but he keeps getting hurt. You ain't seen nothing yet. B -b -b Baby.
Qua wins Yashin Trophy. Gavi wins the... I thought that said Koopa Trophy. It's the Copa. Dude, you say that, and it's so funny, because we had the problem where I was ordering soccer kits to wear, and the first, like, five or six that I got from this, like, monthly mail-in were... I, I, I knew that they were cut very small, so I got, like, triple X, and they fit really good, because they they're about two sizes smaller, the way they're cut, than our clothes over here. So triple X fit really good. And then I got one from Turkey, and it was supposed to be triple X, I couldn't even get that thing over my head. It was so small. And it was just like, it's so funny how there is different, like, sizing when it does that. But football jerseys, you got to remember, American football jerseys are bigger because if you get a game jersey, they have the room for the pads. So that's why they're bigger. Because um, the pads go over the shoulders and they've got the gut pads that go on there. Who do they want out here? Ashby, Bola, Adiapan, and Cooper. Tommy Lay playing there. Hmm. Drake FC going to this game as slight underdogs against West Brom. Dean on the bench, Oko Flex is there, Mari Miller. Yeah, in rugby, they don't usually hit each other in the head or lead with the head because they don't have a helmet on. Then again, y'all got weird games over there like cricket, which makes no sense. What is it giving you such good record against Scott Brown? Smile warmly. I've never been too sure, really. There must be a bit of luck in there somewhere. Do you think that a psychological advantage has to be held by maintaining such records? Uh, I'm not really sure how much it matters. West Brong occupy a disappointing 15th place in the championship table, but a four-match unbeaten league run. Uh, we gotta consider. Our, uh, we gotta believe in ourselves. Uh, were you pleased to not have any players away during the national break? Uh, we're in a good place, and we got to practice a lot. You must be keen for a repeat performance from last time out. Uh, the confidence is starting to flow. What's the latest on Cullen's injuries? He's still not fit, but we're not worried. But he'll be a little out, out a little while longer. Cricket is n <laughs> baseball is not even like baseball anymore. Here's my picture I guess Grimmeth was talking about earlier. I still have one adaptability. My people management 16 now though. Fifty percent reputation, one hundred percent media handling, one hundred percent tactical consistency, seventy five percent hands on, I'm one hundred percent at managing finances and team discipline, but I have no loyalty to players. I'm not sure how. That was always the hardest thing I had to convince my like students when I taught school is if aliens come to earth and, ch and gave every human being on the planet a vote on what sport we could challenge them on, soccer would win because it's probably the most, um, why are they letting all these coaches go on these things? I need to go get my uh, new license. Uh, because it's just so much more popular than anything here in America. And Harrison's, oh, Colin passed his fitness test. Um... I think I'll let him go 
Oh, it won't let me. All right. Okay, they're happy with the squad. All right, let's see if this new formation can do... Uh, okay. Oh, I've got too many lone players. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So who do we get? Oh, that's why Bellingham wasn't playing. Put Goodliff on the bench. That's not good. I always forget about that rule. Yeah, that's that's the thing is none of that money really cycles down any. All right, what do we got here today? Scott Brown of West Brom. He's got Carlin Grant up front, Coloco, Cham, and Marquinhos. How the hell does he have Marquinhos? They're literally paying 1.6 out of 1.7 of his salary to have him and paying 15,000 a month for him. Yeah, I got the brother, but I just sold him this season. He was a free agent and signed with us. Um, but we made a lot of money off of him, so I'm okay. Well, that's going to suck having him over there. Shackleton, Yokosuru, uh, Brian, Jesus, Duffy, Furlong, and they got Woodman and goal. Rob Jones is the official. That's a tough team. Our team is, we still don't have the money to really compete yet. Um, we, uh, we started the team with nothing in FM 22. Played eight seasons on there. Uh, and then we started, this is our fourth season, I believe. Took us two years in League One to get to the championship. And this is our second year in League, or in the championship. So, yeah, we're still playing catch up. There's a long way for the team to go. Know, we've not had a shot on goal, but we've had possession. So, not sure what's going on. Duffy with the free kick. Tries to hit Muhammad Chan. Ashby gets it. Matty Longstaff up to McNeely. Back to Adia Pan. He's going to play that. Tries to hit Bennett. Janelle Bennett is out in front. Janelle Bennett into the box. Tries to spin around. He'll lose possession. Marquinhos back to Chong. Chomp up to Coloco. Shackleton looking to play it. I don't like this highlight. It's starting to go their way. Rocco over the top. Marquinhos and coming is there. Good stop. Yeah, I knew there was brothers, and I knew we had the less of the two, but this one, he's done well for our team. Uh, it is almost midnight here. We just had our time change. So. Now Bennett over to Talaji Bola. He's going to play that up. McNeely out in front. McNeely into the box. He pulls it back, looks for help, finds Janelle Bennett. Bennett comes in, takes the shot. It's deflected. We'll get a corner from that. 31st minute. Now Bennett to take the corner. Swings it in. Nobody could get to it. Andy Longstaff tracks it down. India Pan sends it in. There's Tommy Lay. Oh, it's off the crossbar. And they're going to say he's offside anyway. They're starting to show some life, though. That's what matters. All right, gang. Let's not give up anything here toward the end of the half. The defense there. Tommy Lay over to Janelle Bennett. Will India Pan. He's going to try to hit McNeely. Jesus gets to it. Shackleton over to Brian. Jesus. Jesus to Brian. Coloco. Furlong. Ola. It's headed. Cunning will stop it. 37th minute. Free kick. Matty Longstaff. It's off the wall. We'll get a corner. Great fans here in our new stadium going crazy. 
I thought they might put the uh, editor on sale so I could change the stadium name, but they didn't. Want it. Really sad of me. McAllister, they're going around. Quietly make breakfast. Well, if I'm not here when you get back, it was nice seeing you. Glad you're following. Don't be a stranger. Show back up again sometime. <sighs> we are not playing terrible, but we're not playing amazing either. Pointed everybody. Shackleton, I want to say Skillington. Rajibola ends up over here. Goes back to Indy. India Pan, Longstaff, up to Tommy Lay. Tommy Lay been playing good today. He's going to send that over the top. There's McAllister. He's got another man in the box. He spins it back to Ashby. Tommy Lay takes a big shot, and Woodman makes the save. Uh-oh. Bola has come up with a bruised knee. We're going to have to make a sub for him. Andy Pan's going to have to sneak over. Hmm. Bring in Jack Tucker there. Good kick for us. Tucker gets his good touch. He sends it over the top. Can we get a goal here? Oh! Oh, Tucker set it up. McNeely couldn't finish. We're starting to put pressure on West Brom, though. I will take it. They've made a sub. Free kick to them, though. Jesus to OK. Up to Wallace. India Pan, who's out there playing left back now, gets it. Jay Charles to Tucker. Tucker to Tommy Lay. Lay. Bad pass to Bennett. Counter coming back here the other way. Oh, we should have got that ball. That just, that just trickled out there. We'll take a shot. It goes into the crowd. Harrison Ashby on the staff into Tommy Lay. Tommy Lay tries to pass. It's broke up. Good defense by West Brom. They come back the other way. They're going to play it over the top to Coloco. Coloco's got options. He pops it up Grant. And it's headed out. Well, Bennett should have just got control of it, but instead he gives it to Furlong. He's going to send it back into Grant. Ashby's there. A foot lower, and they would have been up 1-0. Our front group of players is not playing well right now. Oh no! And they chip it over. And once again, Jamie Cumming has allowed a goal and West Brom goes up in the 63rd minute. He has been embarrassed at least three times this season. Changes up front. Um, let 
I'm gonna bring in Amari Miller. We we'll give Max Dean a chance. And we're down two now, so. Free kick for them. Chance to make it three. Jamie Cumming does get that one. Twelve minutes to play. We just come off a win and now we're getting trounced. We're gonna have to go attacking. Actually, I'm gonna go very attacking. Quality in our bench players. Like with Cullen out. Oh, did it drop? It didn't even tell me on my side. So it's a twitch thing. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't get anything, and I don't have any drop frames, so it was not on my end. But we're going to drop that one 3-0. We're sitting at nine points, still just one point out of relegation. Everton is down here with us. How is that even possible? Okay, he's only out for two games. I'm going to send my assistant. I'm not even going to deal with that. They look at, oh my God, we got first place Watford coming up. We've got to get points against uh, Sunderland here. Because I don't think we're going to get points against Watford.
Got your bowl of cereal. Oh, Rotherham Clash could be Gattuso, Gattuso's last. So they're thinking about firing him. Dude's got amazing stats. Yeah, Muhammad Cham, who scored three on me as the player of the week. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Sunderland are clear favorites in this home encounter. Great. They're currently on a six-match unbeaten streak. Joe Asoro has scored three goals in three matches against Drake FC. Do you have a plan to stop him? He's a fantastic player. We're going to do our best. Jamie Hamilton will be eased back. Uh, we're going to be patient and conscious. Do you expect Talaji Bella? He's not quite there yet. Your team has struggled on the road for a long time. Uh, I was supposed to be in a little guilty approach and things in a naive manner tactically. We'll do better. Ah. <sighs> Very big rotated squad for this game. Looks like we get another big break after this Watford game. Defeat, defeat. Wow. Okay. Colin is back to full training, though, so that's good. My question on that, though, is... Is he good enough to come in and play yet? Wow, Charmin Lowe is getting really good. He just needs to work on shot stopping. He doesn't like big matches. Jamie Cumming hasn't acted like he likes big matches either. I'm just throwing that out there. I hate to be the jerk that says that, but... All right, we need to uns we need to shock them and get a point here. I played fairly poorly when they're there. Well, that's not good. Well, then I don't want to mess that up. All right, rotated squad here. We're in poor form. They're in poor form. So maybe we could. Maybe there is a chance that we've got a, we could steal a point or two from them. Point of three, I mean. All right, Gary Rowlett. Who's he got here? He's got Lyndon Dykes, Mr. Neck Tattoos, Masaurus Roberts, five in the back, Rasmussen, Binks, Ballard, Fredrickson, and Kraft, Ba and Yearwood as defensive midfielders, and Rodok. In goal. 
We are sending out a very young squad against them. But we'll see if we can come out. I'd like to see little Max Dean, the youngster, who's playing uh, striker for us today, come out here and do really well. I'd like to see Oko Flex come out here and uh, flex his game as well. He wants a new contract. He needs to show me he deserves it. I have no idea why Jamie Cumming is up that far. We kick for us. Gold kick for us. Dean ends up with it. Dean plays it over. Too much on the pass. Forson does recover. Gets it to Rosie. Tries to get it to Oko Flex, but Binks will cut it off. Binks sends it downfield. Dykes. Good lift. Oko Flex. Masora sends up with it. Great pass to Masura. Takes a shot. Coming will deflect it just wide of the goal. But they're already pressing us here six minutes into the game. Corner kick for Sunderland. Roberts swings it in. Binks over the net. struggle at is getting players that can pass and defend. Come with a big save there. Here we are 10 minutes in and they're on us, on us again like hotcakes. Ooh, Mullen sends that one out. Ball with the ball goes to Binks. And he comes, comes up and reels it in. Let's give him some encouragement here. Oziak, he's going to try to go long to Dean. Could get it, Rasmussen. Dean gets it back. Dean makes a move into the box. Bellingham ends up with it. Bellingham turns it over. Free kick for them on the other side. They'll go short. They go to Ba. Ba takes a shot. Bennett heads it away. Bellingham tried to run it out. Robert Madley, the official, trying to hold this game together here. Crap over Fredrickson. Thanks, Ba. Send it back out. They come charging back in again. Coming with a big diving save here. My God, they've had six shots in 15 minutes on us. Bring him in. Over to Melbourne. Max looks to do a move. Looks to bring it across. Good. Fredrickson cuts it off though. Dykes ends up with a good lift. Slides down into it. He's now out of position. And moving back to Fredrickson. Kraft to Ba. Dykes, Weirwood now with it. Up the Dykes, Kraft again down the side. Goes to the wing, pulls it back. Newman down the pitch here over the top. Mullen heads away. Rasmussen gets a hold of it. Sends it in. Shot is into the crowd. Free kick here. Nobody went up to defend it. Luckily, Jamie Cumming is actually playing a game today. He's at a 7-1 rating. I don't know what the possession is. Oko Flex here with it. Forcing. What a pass. What a terrible pass. He could just crap better than that. Oh, he took him down in the box. No call. The ref did not have a word indeed. Shot there blocked by the face. A free kick to us here in the 23rd minute. Let's see if we can put something together here. I don't like this uh, highlight like right after that. I think we're giving the back line way too much time to put stuff together. Forcing up to Dean. Max Dean at Boko Flex. Trying to hit Bellingham. Bellingham does end up with it. Tucker tried to go to the top of Dean, but Rodok will jump on it. The team is composed, but 
They let Masaurus through, he takes a shot, it's into the crowd. This game is... It's like nothing but Sunderland highlights. Another save by Cunning. Men on this whole match. We've had one shot to their 12. Well, we're starting to get a little bit of momentum. Corner for them, though. 41st minute. Why don't you just bring that down and go? Pulls it back, Fredrickson. Ah. Cock goes wide. Another corner to them. How many corners do they have? Five corners already in the first half. We're also playing counter. They just got one. Fredrickson puts it in his first goal of the season. Of course it is. Asmussen sends the ball in. Fredrickson just put it up there. Beats the keeper. And again, we give a goal away. Starting to get a little tired. Maybe we come out and hit him in the face. Why is uh, Appia so upset? He listened keenly, it says. Your Wi-Fi dropped. Well, you'll get an ad for that. It'll be Ryan Reynolds trying to send you some uh, Mint Mobile uh, Wi-Fi. Oh, I did get that. We do have a lot of ads. Even when I turn them down, I feel like we just get a lot of ads. Throwing for us. Hopefully a chance at an equalizer over to Dean. Melbourne. Tucker. Forson. Longham. In the Dean. Dean! And it's blocked by Rodolph. Oh, that was probably the best chance I've seen out of us all day. And he baby legs it to the goalkeeper. Well, only you all can help me get money to uh, go to these soccer games. <laughs> Why pay for your own dreams when you could pay for mine? Sixty-first minute. I think I'll do some subs here. Oh my God! They just did some subs. I think I'll do the same thing. Uh, Janelle Bennett has had a dog crap day. All right, Shea Charles, Donnell, McNeely in. 
Free kick for them. Do a little bit of encouragement. Maybe I'll calm them down. Rasmussen out on the wing. He's got options. Pulls it back. Matete. Roberts takes a shot at the flex up. Goes out. Corner again to Sunderland. They lead 1 0 over Drake. Three minutes. Oh man. Okay. Um, These are just pathetic. Got to put our wing backs on attack. Let's go attacking. See if we can get an equalizer. Free kick for them. Not what I wanted to see. Oh, the wall holds. Bellingham heads it out. Here's the Ely. Tries to play it forward. Nobody's home now. Time running out. Six shots of their 21. Gonna end on a free kick from them. Yep, that's the game. We drop another one. That may put us down in the relegation zone. One point out of it. This is so bad. Everything on my side back to normal, normally at night, early morning. That's interesting. I don't think mine does that. If it does, I don't know about it. All right, so we only have second place Watford coming up. Maybe we go back to our original formation here. Sitting back and waiting for them is just not happening. Yeah, Mad Martin, I think I'm going to do one more game just to get me to this window. 
Uh, oh, this is the wrong month. Uh, if I can do Watford, that'd give me a week before. Le oh my God. Fourth place, sixth place, ninth place, second place, fifth place. This has been a month from hell for our team. We have just not got a break. I want to get this Watford game out of the way, so maybe we just have like a downhill slope. But with seeing the schedule, it's just not happening. What do you mean, Max Dean? Well, when Max Dean comes in, he has to play a pressing forward, in my opinion. I forgot about that. That's on me. Because I don't expect good things against uh, Watford. Hull City fired their manager. We probably have our best lineup going out this next game, though. Watford are clear favorites. Of course they are. Watford are currently second place. Four points behind league leaders Fleetwood. Can you pull off something of an upset? I'm always confident. Uh, you got one of the poorest defensive records in the division. Why can't you keep goals out? Uh, we just don't get the quality. Are you planning any changes to counter suggestion that Watford have you well scouted? I'm confident our approach will give them something to think about. Uh, There's been a lot of speculation this week surrounding the future. Uh, I don't want to talk about anybody. Uh, I'm playing like crap this year. Why would I want to talk about? Other people. Can Max Dean, can I just like click on him and give him his own like. I guess he's fine now. Um. This is definitely our best team. Oh, if there was a chance to upset Watford, this is the team to do it. I mean, we're almost full strength. Freeman, let's make him available for under 21s. All right. Oh, it's an under-18 match, so they'll be playing this one. That's kind of stupid. I guess I screwed that up, didn't I? I'm doing my best, and my best just sucks. Really hope our schedule gets easier in November. If we can have a really good schedule with some better teams to take on instead of the top of the table the whole time. They think we're going to lose. That makes sense. At least the board and the fans are being realistic. I mean, I don't think my job's in danger yet.
Let's tell everybody to go out there and play their game. All right, Steven Garrard. He's got McNeil, Cantwell, and Luza up front. Uh, Nakamba and Lukic, Arthur in midfield, Aguera, Porta, Polito, and Laird in the back line, and Santiago Mele in at goal. Jeff Eltringham is the official today. It's 57 degrees out. We are playing at Watford. We can just shock the world once. Colin? Oh, I thought he was. They were saying he was offside. Oh, I was wanting to shock him. 20,000 people here watching here at Vicarage Road. I probably mispronounced that, but that's okay. I'm not going to yell at the team. I'm just going to let them play today. Free kick. Liam Cullen sends it in. Bennett! It's over the net. Rain starting to come down heavily here. We've literally played five out of the six teams. Six out of the six top teams in the past month, if you count Luton Town on November 1st. Oh my god, they like freaking tackled our keeper there. Haji Bola gonna play this one up to Colin. Colin could get to it. Lose it. Looks like he's picked up a knock. We'll see if they sub him out. And by the Cantwell, Cantwell on the box, it's off the keeper and he puts it in. Oh, Watford goes up in the 30th minute, one nil over Drake. What a shot. I'm pretty sure that one dude's name was Marvelous. Is that a possibility? It is. His name is Marvelous Nakamba. You know, take that off. Oh, Bennett, oh, why did he just give that up? Bola gets the ball back, finds Cullen. Cullen, shot from McAllister. He just once again cannot keep the ball. 36 minute, Watford. Down here, plays it back to Andy Cullen. Tries to push it forward to Liam Cullen. Cullen does end up with it. Plays it forward to Janelle Bennett. Bennett looking. He's got options. He's got a couple of guys in the box. He takes the shot and he just barely misses. Oh, we've been working on that. We just didn't go in. How come we don't have the Marvelous? We can't afford the Marvelous. Remember, we're still a poor team, even though we've got a couple million in the bank. I'm curious, what's his salary? He's only making 2.7, 2.07 million a year. I mean, we're just playing players that are like so above our league. Cause it, this is two seasons of Premier League teams that have come down on us right now. And we're really getting squeezed because of that. Player. He's got to be offside. Come on, ref. 
right in the 45th minute too. Told them their performance was terrible. They made two subs at half. Just gonna berate Jamie Cumming. I'm so mad at him. Oh, man. They have 71% possession. I just cannot keep possession this season. Like, I don't know what's happening to lose the ball so much. 70% of our pass is completed. I mean, that's abysmal. We got one back. India Pan puts one in, 3-1. The Drakes finally get something positive going. Off a corner, no doubt. Good to see the youngster get on the board here in the 64th point. A second one back, I'd be very happy. <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter anymore. McNeil just did a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick and put the ball in the back of the net. That was amazing. I want to be so mad, but these players are just so good we're going up against. Got 16 finishing. Isn't this the kid we tried to? Yeah, we tried to bring him in, but Watford decided to pay the whole 1.3 million. We couldn't afford him. All these players that are burning us up are just players that like they wanted millions of dollars, and we just don't have it to loan somebody. I think we're going to really be scraping by to try to survive this season. Tommy Lay out front. Sends it over. Here's Liam Cullen. He's inside. Liam Cullen. Baby loves it. I think robbing a bank would help us out that much. I'm immediately after 
this game and go find a replacement for Jamie Cunning. He has angered me so bad. Is that one of my players? It was like. A 5.8 was what he was there for a second. Oh my God, <laughs> Jamie coming out that bounce off the crossbar. Let's just go very attacking at the end. What, what's the worst that can happen? They score again. It's already 4-1. I have a feeling Watford may be going up this season. I have a feeling that any of the last six teams that we've played could be going up this season. Oh, and we've not even played the likes of Everton or anything yet. Hey, Tommy Lay got his second goal this season. Let's go. It looks a little bit better. Oh, I've been watching uh, Ted Lasso. I've not watched season three, so don't put any spoilers out there, but... Uh, the first two seasons were amazing. Maybe I'm sitting back playing too conservatively. I mean, I just went very attacking. Now, I'm still playing lower tempo. I mean, I don't. Oh, okay, well, awesome. It's you're gonna love season two. It's a roller coaster. That's the game. We lose four two. We did. I don't know. Are the team's happy with being the underdogs and scoring two goals. I guess I. We're still on the cusp of survival. Somebody said, "I hate to tell you so, Rosiak will only get worse from here." Yeah, the fans do not like the guy we loaned in. It's unfortunate he's doubtful to like us. So Jaw is going to do this. Placement for Jamie coming. All right, so I want to let, right before we end the stream, I just want to look at our calendar. So we got another team coming up, fifth place Luton Town. Please, please, please have some teams that are more toward the bottom. Tenth Blackburn, that's not a break. Eighth place Huddersfield. Okay, mid-table Millwall, bottom of the table Oxford, and bottom of the table Cardiff. And then we go back to Burnley, Coventry, Everton coming up. Reading at the bottom, Burnley up top, and then Nottingham Forest again. Are we just front-loaded with a lot of the top teams? We end the season with some bottom teams again. So it does look like it gets easier toward the end of the season. But January, February, actually from here till then, the next four months are all going to be kind of tough. <clears throat> and we've still got 
the FA Cup coming in January too. So why are you whining? Yeah. Did you not pay attention to the, the standings of where we're at? Um, yeah, we're just, we're hold our goal difference is negative 10. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know. Bad coach. I'm probably on the hot seat. And we don't even have injuries to blame this season. We did better last year with injuries than we did this year. So I don't know.